On the right, you can see the first prototype in the world of the project Modular Shutter Gardens by Kansu Seirek Sik, in which the artist-architect works on the issue of the shutters and mitigating the rising temperature in interiors in a natural way by applying solutions well known to us all, but underrated today in the world of air conditioning and artificial methods of cooling buildings. Kansu Seirek Sik designed a window. You can open and close it, and the prototype is ready for you to view it also from the inside. She created the project for her submission in the new European Bauhaus competition, a cultural revolution announced by the head of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, two years ago, as a project focused on cultural change that accompanies the new European Green Deal. Thus, Kansu wanted to emphasize, work on and encourage us all to reflect in the context of our everyday life, as well as in the context of architectural solutions, to look into practices which we know well from long ago in many corners of the world and which help us, without the use of electricity and artificial cooling methods, i.e. air conditioning, to create the most comfortable living conditions possible in apartments and other establishments in the times of heat waves and extremely hot summers. Another project in our room devoted to sustainable methods of cooling buildings and designing them in a way that limits the use of electricity for cooling cities and rooms is the project of the seat of the Foundation for Polish Science located at Krasinskiego Street in Warsaw. It is one of the numerous projects in the world which uses a green wall as a tool for cooling down the building and its surroundings. But what interested us as curators was the fact that it had been created in a spontaneous, organic manner without grand narratives around the solution, as one of the first new Warsaw designs of the 21st century using this tool, a green wall which cools both the building and its surroundings, cleansing the environment and air around it at the same time. Just imagine that some people dream about all the buildings in Warsaw being covered in green walls, ivy or vine. It would certainly result in lowering the temperature and increasing the quality of air we breathe every day. Next to it, you can see an excerpt from the journal Kurier Warszawski, issue 172, from 1909, which we prepared for you together with Błażej Brzostowski, social historian working with the Museum of Warsaw, to draw your attention to the fact that in the very early 20th century, Warsaw residents rejoiced in Kurier Warszawski over new inventions which helped them to cope with the rising temperature. On the one hand, you can see refrigerator ads in the upper right-hand corner, and on the other, on the left, you can see adverts for fans and ice boxes which, straight from the American market, could help control the temperature. On the right, you can see a wall where we placed objects telling the story of various methods of using fabrics to cool down buildings. Various types of curtains are objects that accompany us daily, but in the recent decades we have rarely discussed them widely and publicly as an important solution which enables cooling down rooms without the use of electric power. Meanwhile, this question, this challenge in the phenomenon of using fabrics in the thermal context, was analyzed by the Centrala Group and Alicia Bielawska. You can see in front of you, for instance, a photo from the London Design Biennale, which illustrated the design of this architectural group, a project featuring various forms of clothing rooms in such a way as to manage not only their appearance, but also the temperature and the impact of the exterior temperature on the interior. 